Hi guys, Sarah here, and today we are doing a little mini collab with the lovely Mina Villegas. So what we did here is we kind of mixed our colors together just to have like a paint date, and then uh, we decided uh, just the technique, not the colors. So we have different colors on some level, and uh, but the same thing is the size of the canvas and the technique, we are going with a simple straight pour, and uh, the colors I have are 24K gold. I have, uh, old, th these are mostly leftover paints. Uh, permanent Violet Dark. I have a white mix two to one with Floetrol. This is my flow extender to go around the composition. Then I have Indigo Blue and what else? That's all that's in here really is uh, indigo mixed with Floetrol, three to one. This is Quinecordone Nickel Azo Gold, Floetrol, three to one. This is my two to one ratio, Artist Loft Soft Body White Acrylic Paint mixed with two parts Floetrol. So it's two parts Floetrol, one part paint, and two tablespoons um, approximately of the satin enamel. And this is a 16 ounce cup. <clears throat> this is, let me get you the bottle. This is Art Mines Peridot Brush Metallics by Art Mines. This color is no longer available. I'm just using up old paint that I have. And I also mixed Art Mines DIY um, Candy Apple in there. So we have that color. And then this is Pebio's Iridescent Blue Green. And uh, that's it. So we're gonna just throw all these colors, layer them up in a 24 ounce cup. I want 24 ounces. This is a 24 by 24 inch canvas, but I want a little extra. I know that's not what you need to cover the canvas, but I like extra so I can play with composition and going from there. So we are going to start layering up our cup and we're gonna start with Artist Loft White. Now I'm gonna do a little drizzle of the gold in there. And I'm gonna follow it with the Pebbio Iridescent Blue Green. It's coming with a dark contrasting color of the indigo. And let's bring in some of the gold here. Permanent Violet Dark. I'm gonna come back in. No, nope. you know what? We're, let's do the Nickel Azo Gold. There you go. And drizzle a little bit of the gold there. Followed by some of the white. Come in with the blue green by Pebio. Now the Peridot and Candy Apple mix, which I think is gonna look amazing. A little drizzle of the gold. I don't want too much. And then the indigo. I'll follow that up with some white. Gold, permanent violet dark, as you can see. Come in with a little white there. And the green mix, which I knew I wasn't gonna use a whole lot. We're gonna put that violet right on top. Gold. Let's do a little white. And then we're gonna top it off 
with the blue. And I think we're gonna call it quits. So that is our layered cup. I'm gonna move my other colors out of the way. I'm going to use the layered white with the satin enamel in the middle. And just put a little on the side. hoping we're still in frame. I hope so. <laughs> we are going to start to pour. was a hot mess right there. We get a smack stick and we're just gonna straighten this out a bit. Redefine that middle a bit. There we go. There, much better. You can always come in and do that. I love what's going on right here. So let me put my glasses on because I'm not seeing what I need to see. Love this. So I'm going to give it a torch. That is incredible. So I told Mina I could not guarantee that this piece would not turn into a galaxy pour. And I still stand by that. <laughs> there was satin enamel in my white. All right. Bring this back to here, back to center. Now this is just the flow extender, it's just some white paint. In this case, there was nothing fancy about it. I figured why add any satin enamel to it. All right, so let me get a spatula and we'll spread that out. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know where my spatula is. So what we will do is use this. This is a Fluid Art Code number 18 palette knife. forward to seeing what Mina creates with her beautiful color palette. I'm 
we have not had a um, little paint mixing party in ages because I'm not in the kitchen anymore. So getting over here, it just doesn't feel the same here in the studio to do that. But we did it today and it was wonderful. So I'm just lightly carrying the palette knife across to get it spread out because I really don't want my puddle to roll over itself. Plus I'm letting it percolate and we're gonna give it another torch before we start stretching. Kind of want to wreck it, but I won't. I won't. I won't do it. I love all these cells. Everything that's going on with this piece is beautiful. All right. So I'm going to start circling it. Bringing it right on back down. Kind of looks like a rose in the middle. That is pretty darn cool. All right. We're gonna give it another torch because we stretched out and some air bubbles popped up. Take a sip of my iced coffee. Because it is hot. <clears throat> All right, so right here I'm a little concerned this area is gonna roll over itself. But what I'm gonna do is stretch it this way first and see how the paint moves. If it starts to roll over, yeah, we don't wanna do that. We don't want it rolling over. So what I'm gonna do is come in with my other white that I used for layering. We're just gonna do that, let it sit. And bring it back to the middle. And do this. There we go. And just kiss the corners. And I'm going to come down here. Nah. I go back to middle for a minute, realign the weight of my paint. Bring it back to middle. All right, I come down this way. Just came over it just a little bit. All right. We're going to let it rest and give it another torch I feel like that 
that did nothing. <laughs> We're gonna bring it right off that corner. We're gonna bring it back real fast now because we don't want it to sit over there. And we're gonna come over to this corner. I apologize if there is some kind of glare. This is not lining up right, so hold on a sec. There we go. We're gonna go this way, now like that. And we're gonna come back. I'm gonna put it down for a moment. It is heavy. Okay, let's bring it off this corner. There's gonna be a little bit of a glare, I think, so I do apologize in advance for that. Back to the middle, or somewhat. I come down this way. William. Oops. Let me go back over there. There we go. All right, now, I am gonna go off the side over here. gonna do is go this way go back to the middle So I'm kind of thinking I want to bring this off and I'm going to change my gloves and clean myself up just a little bit for a second here. I don't want to drip any on the canvas. All right. So what I'm going to do is bring this off. I kind of want to open up what's going on right here. I don't mind losing those cells. So what I'm just going to do is just lift this side. There we go. And we're gonna come back. Love, love it now. Let's bring it back this way a bit. All 
I think I'm gonna leave this just as is. I, I love this. There is so much to look at in this piece. Now here, we are going to prop it up. It's so rainbowy in here. I love it. Okay, let me get some cups. We're gonna prop it up. I can actually use this cup, not that one. Let's see here. What else can I use? All right. So we are going to do this. And this, um, this. And then we're gonna clean up our edges, our corners. And then we'll be good to go. All right, we'll bring you guys in in just a moment. Okay, this this is insanely cool. It's like super trippy. And uh, I'm really looking forward to the dried results. And uh, go from there. I love this area. It's super cool. And look at the little rainbows I got in the center. Loving it. Hope the colors are showing up as vibrantly as they are for me but i'm super happy check out mina villegas at mina villegas art and see what she created in our little mini collaboration all right guys have a wonderful day bye